Okay, let's take one more look at uh, our, our opponent, our partner on their, on their back, using the underhook to try to escape. And, uh, you know, we talked about neutralizing it, getting to where we could attack the Kimura on it. Um, let's look at another way we can attack that arm, um, this time going off of their bridge, very similar to what we did before when we stepped over to the mount. Now we're going to step over into a model plotted position, okay? So, once again, my partner here on bottom managed to get an underhook, okay? It's too soon for me to be able to switch cross shoulder and neutralize it, and I feel that bridge coming, okay? So he starts to bridge. I want to go with it once again, kind of like circling a little bit off of it, okay? Not resisting it, going with it, and then as he bridges his hip up, take this big step over as if I want to mount. But instead of putting my knee down, I'm going to step all the way around, trying to get my foot as close to his shoulder as possible. Once I step that foot down, I want to anchor back onto his arm and keep it cup and trapped around my ribs and my body, okay? Now, usually you're not going to be able to get that foot as tight as we want it, okay? Go turn just a little bit. We're not going to get it as tight as we want it in the beginning. So after I anchor down on it now and I'm starting to secure the monoplot position, I'm going to walk my foot over so I can tighten that up a little bit and squeeze my knees and have a little more, more pressure on the back of this shoulder, okay? Now, I want to get rid of this free arm, all right? He might get on his elbow or push against me and do things with this arm. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get control of it here and, and slide it under my other leg, okay? So now it's kind of neutralizing out of the picture. From here, feel free, you know, adjust the position even more, okay? Now, how do I want to finish this, all right? There's lots of different ways to, you know, uh, manipulate the shoulder here and, and find, you know, submissions. I'm going to show you uh, my favorite way and what I think is really the easiest, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to cup around this elbow here with my hand, all right? Cupping it. Once again, not grabbing any cloth. I want to, you know, feel his elbow and I want to pull it to my body, okay? Now from here I can use this hand on the floor and I'm going to look to step my leg over his head. So I can kind of use my hand here and bring my foot right over his head, okay? Now... I'm going to just slightly, you know, uh, slide off of him just a little bit. And my idea is to maneuver as if I'm going towards an arm bar, okay? And as I do that, all the while, I'm going to be pulling his elbow, okay? And I have my hand here for base the whole time. And I'm going to squeeze my knees as I rotate. And there's the shoulder lock, okay? So, I'm sorry, come out of this position. One more time. I feel that big bridge going, and I turn, go with it, boom. Step, anchor down on this arm, okay? Now, adjust your foot a little bit. Get to where you have good, tight alignment position here behind his shoulder. Catch that arm, slide it under your knee, get it out of the pitch, okay? Now we can focus on this one arm here and finish it, all right? Cup at the elbow and pull. Keep it tight to your body. Right? Now, I bring my leg over. Okay? From here, I just lean off. I'm driving my knee up, rotating his shoulder, and pulling. So I have this V, all right? Kimura shape here. And the more I go, there it is. Okay? And of course, if his arm happens to pop out, like circle this way here, and he manages to start to find an escape, I can sit and turn this all the way into my arm bar position here, try to finish it. Or use the wedge if I have to to break the grip. Okay? One more time. Go this way. All right. I feel that bridge. Boom. Step, anchor, just your foot, slide under, cup the elbow, step. There's our shoulder lock. All right? So one more way to turn the underhook into a great position for us on top instead of a great way for them to escape.